Hello YouTube world, this is Jack. For those of you that didn't know already, I'm taking a break from the BAP news. Uh, why have I gone down this route with BAP news though? And for those that don't know, BAP stands for biased and presumptuous. I've been on YouTube for over five years now, I believe at least, and uh, that is what, if I could think of something that really, that contains a, a lot of the experiences I've had on YouTube, it's biased and presumptuous, <laughs> which we all are to a certain extent or another. And so bad news to me is sort of this feeling of, okay, I've gone, I've gone down this route. I've spent years, <laughs> literally now. Doing the conversations, doing all the debates, and what have I learned during all of this? Let me tell you what I've learned during all this. Atheists offer nothing. Theists offer nothing. Uh, people in general, a lot of the people here on YouTube don't offer nothing. They, they don't offer a lot of people. What they offer are arguments, debates. That's great. Um, at, at a point, the discussion, the debates, the arguments, where everyone goes, and most of the people here on YouTube, Google, go to a website now, with a website that's whatever the opposite position doesn't hold to. You know, in other words, if you want to argue your position, you just Google, you know, all your talking points, all your arguing points. It's easy, it's right there for you. No need to read through the books and acquire information in, in a very much in a much more holistic fashion nowadays you just get the, the point the talking points it's all there for you i'm not inspired by that it, it i'm not uh, it it's very superficial I, I watch the videos i hear the points i hear all these people saying them now atheist theist i'm like okay everyone's got a talking point now okay so everyone's got a talking point now here's what i want this is what i want this is what i'm looking for a life I want to see a life that actually is lived. So you can turn on the camera. You and I can turn on the camera. We can talk a bunch of talk. I can make it look good. I can entertain you. I can make you laugh. I can piss you off. That's easy. The moment I turn off that camera, how do I live my life? Is there a correlation between the thoughts and the ideas and the things that I say in this video, on my videos in some way, is there something that is manifest in my life, that makes my life, that makes the life that I live one that inspires people, that, that creates within them a sense of curiosity regarding why I live my life in the way that I do. And <laughs> whether you're an atheist or theist, I just don't think honest, I'm, I'm, I tend to, at this point in my life, I, I'm, I'm somewhat jaded and cynical. Not, not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it can be a bad thing though, if if it was to paralyze me, if it if the extent of who I I am is about being jaded and cynical, then that would be a, a, that wouldn't be very very beneficial because it's easy to be jaded and cynical. It's easy for me to to criticize everyone, the atheist, the theist, all all of humanity essentially, and 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 talk about how ignorance is everywhere and how how you know the stupidity of, of humanity and and how uninspiring so much. So many people's lives are uh, very easy. The difficult task is to move beyond that. You see, because being jaded and cynical itself is 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 a senseless. So what? Anyone, anyone can do that. What do I bring to the table of life by being a, a you know jaded and cynical? Anyone can do that thing. Atheist, theist, I see it all around. Every week, I mean. In some ways, I have a sense of, uh, it seems to me that if someone's professing to be a Christian, that I, I have a greater sense, I have a, um, I have a greater expectation for that person that they would be living a life that is more uh, inspiring, that it, they would be living a life that would uh, bring out a bit, uh, bring with within me and other people a sense of curiosity about a sense of wow that person's a little bit different but to be honest i i've you know i've been 
I was a youth pastor for, for several years and um, I, I don't see it very often among Christians. Fortunately, I'm not a Christian because of other Christians. I'm a Christian because of the the life that the life of Christ that inspires me that ultimately falls on the the crucifixion and resurrection and the the significance of those events and and of the creator and all that stuff. But this, so this this is the thing though. It's about how you as an atheist or a theist, how it is that you live your everyday life. And I get the feeling, I get the sense that a lot of people, they turn on the camera. We live in this time where you want to turn on the camera, you want to make your quick points that you got off of Google, Wikipedia, or some website. And you turn off the camera and you live a very uninspiring life. And it doesn't matter whether you're a professor, whether or not you 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 work at, you know, in retail, or whether you're at some drive through Does the life that you live, is is it one, what defines you? What, what gives it a sense of, of moving forward, of purpose, of aspiring to something. And so what, I, you know, because sometimes I watch videos on YouTube and honestly, the feeling that I get, the sense I get from some people is you're a lonely person, you're stuck up in your house, you don't really have much of a social life, and uh, you're trying to find your identity, the sense of your being and satisfaction almost exclusively from who you are here on YouTube, who your YouTube identity is what defines you. It what It's what makes you in your world. It is your world. That is not a life that is very inspiring to me. That is not a life that, that of one that I would ever want to aspire to because I don't think it's a life that is, <laughs> that is a very meaningful life, a life that, that, that seeks to find. And admittedly, I've struggled with this. We seeking to find acceptance, seeking to find popularity, seeking to find what to be quite honest, I think a lot of us we didn't we haven't we didn't find in life. We haven't found in life. We're not very popular people in real life. We're not very, you know, people perhaps in real life when we were in high school or college or even now, people don't really listen to us. We don't have friends that are willing to listen to us. We don't have people that are willing to talk with us about the things that really interest us. Because of, you know, perhaps where we live, because of the demographic, whatever. There's a whole variety of reasons why. But what do we do with that then? Well, you know, that's, admittedly, that's a challenge. That is a challenge. What do you do with that? Striving to be holistic in, in the way that one lives life, I think, is very important. In other words... Maybe we don't have that person in real life. Maybe we don't have that friend in life, real life. We're, maybe we live in an area where we can't talk with people about the things that really interest us. And so and the internet is this amazing tool for us to be able to do that and engage with people in a, in a, in a, in a semi, you know, in, in a sort of a shallow way. But nonetheless, we still get to engage with people in, in, a, in a way of commu we're able to communicate with, with people in real time. But what about getting out? What about investing in our communities? What about about doing more than 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 just having the conversation? What about living that life? Uh, admittedly, it's complex. I'm not saying it's simple because it's not. There's a lot to it. All right, folks. But I just <laughs> here on YouTube, so much of what's been going on for the countless years I've been on is about. The argument. I've heard it from both sides. Atheists and theists. I'm not compelled by either side for the reasons that they want to try and argue for. They want to talk a lot about the philosophy. They want to talk a lot about the, about the theology. But there's a sense, there's a feeling that, that when I watch the videos of these certain peoples, of the people that are doing these sorts of things, they live a very uninspiring life. I don't get the sense that they they have a sense of joy, of peace, of mind, of heart, of life. That there is a, there is a sense of, of meaningfulness and, and drive behind who they are if you were to meet them in real life and engage with them in real life. There, is, there isn't a sense that they are pressing forward beyond the philosophy and the theology, which anyone can do that. Anyone can do that now. We all have it at, at, at our fingertips, the information, the wealth of information, it's, just, it's everywhere. Anyone can get it. Give me more. That's what I believe humans are crying out for today. They want more. This whole argument, debate, give me the points, it, it's going to get old. It's been getting old. 
Some people have moved on beyond it. BAP news for me, as some of you know, you know, BAP, you know, standing for biased and presumptuous. It's it's a sense of, okay, you know what? I'm just going to be giving, I want to give some comedy now. Because it, it's at this point, I, I, I have to. I mean, I don't have to, but that's my feeling about what it, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to laugh at this stuff. I, I, cause it's easier for me to, to feel like, you know, to think, I find it more challenging to find, to figure out how I can, you know, bring a smile or make it more comedic. To me, that's more engaging than, than going through, going through the philosophy and the theology with a bunch of you people who really could give a rat's butt about it anyways. And it, whatever gets brought to you, you bring up the counterpoints that you've wikipedia and Googled and it doesn't matter. There's no sense that anyone is doing much of any introspection regarding anything. So where is the life that's lived? That's the argument that I want to see. And unfortunately, I can't really see much of that. Not on YouTube. Well, I think people could give us glimpses of their life more, you know, but a lot of people don't. They don't give us a, a more complete picture of who they are in real life. They keep it on the down low. Some don't do it at all. So anyways, there's my thoughts. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it. My, my, my rant for the, for whatever. Uh, I am excited because at the end of June, I plan on going to the Godless Gathering in Philly. So if you're going to be going, uh, perhaps I will meet you there. All right, y'all take care. Peace.